광주 비엔날레 새첫 번째 퍼블릭 프로그램에 와주신 거를 진심으로 감사합니다. 네, 저는 광주 비엔날레 전시 기장 한금현이라고 합니다. 네, 저희가 오늘 처음으로 이제 퍼블릭 이벤트를 준비했는데요. 작가분들과 그리고 또 큐레이터들, 예술 감독들 그리고 어, 여러분들과 같이 어, 비엔날레의 처음 기획부터 그리고 여러 가지 가르치는 작가들의 이야기들을 듣는 처음 토크 프로그램입니다. Uh, and our extended team for uh, the, the 13th edition opening 4th of September which we have titled Minds Rising, Spirits Tuning. We have also announced 31 participating artists in the Biennale and this is also to introduce you, uh, the community of Guangzhou, uh, to join us in welcoming the artists and to learn together about the kinds of practices that will be on stage today. It gives us an opportunity to share what we're learning but also share it with you. Even though we're a small audience here, we value intimacy very much in our search um, for intelligence. So as the artistic directors of the next uh, Guangzhou Biennale, we set out on a very ambitious um, uh, mission uh, to, to explore the entire spectrum of intelligence, as we called it, as we are very much curious how we can actually trace the notion of organic intelligence. Do we trace it to the brain? Do we trace it to the heart? Do we trace it to ancestral knowledges, healing technologies? matriarchal systems, um, and how do we connect the dots? This fascination has turned me to uh, a research I've been conducting, and here I want to present a Guadalquivir. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a sculpture in stone. It's about a two meters high, and it's probably a, about a ton or a two tons a, a in weight. It's quite massive. Uh, uh, people like Octavio Pans, a renowned uh, Mexican writer, said that it was a monstrous thing that the uh, pre-Spanish people had come up with, and that uh, it obviously breaks every other uh, canon of uh, Western uh, art. So everything you see on the video monitors in this images was simply exactly what was happening in that moment and the camera, seven live cameras uh, feeding to it and quite a, f a few simple robotic things as well like these shutters that moved and lines that moved. It starts with a very fast slideshow and that's just how it is, so we have a very fast slideshow. Uh, so when I wanted to find a character for my neural um, exchange project with Google, uh, I decided to revive this leaf-covered figure. So what is a leaf-covered figure? It's an old medieval, uh, pre-medieval, ancient figure that's covered in leaves. Here you can see one in a 13th century cathedral in Germany. Uh, here you can see one in the cathedral of Foliot Head in England cropping up all over the place, but nobody really knows what they are. They also exist within folk memory. This is a leaf-covered figure. Um, I think this is in Northern Europe. This is in Italy. There's a sort of no real sense of what these things are, but they're sort of older figures which relate to a period in which Europe was particularly covered in forests. But I think there's also equivalents in Asia and Africa. You know, it's just like a figure in, almost embedded in the landscape. Quaco 불교의 시위인이 사실은 등장했었고 그래서 결론적으로 말하자면 어, 죽음과 영생을 바라는 우리의 아주 
원초적이고 고대로부터 이어져 온 그런 욕망이 사실은 가장, 가장 우리가 그 다음을 알기도 전에 이미 우리에게 도달해 있는 기술의 새로운 차원을 어, 소화하기 전에 같은 동력으로서 우리 안에 작동하고 있다는 생각을 가지고 있습니다. What they thought it was. So, for example, this mushroom had, like, this note that said maybe it's Africa or from Bali. Who knows? No? And so, I I made this exhibition that was based on these projections by cu uh, curators and conservators uh, as a placeholder until maybe somebody could come up with a way to understand how to reconstruct it. But I really maybe not possible. So, so you hit the original objects as well as their. Yes. Um, your abstraction or representation of yes. the same thing. Yes, so, so they work in triptych, so it's a, the artifact here and then the reconstruction and then the drawing is a record of them being together because once the show's over, the artifacts go back to the museum. So this one is actually based, uh, the, the objects that you see on the table had a note that said it belonged to a ceramic and the collections manager said that there was a collector one time who had the ceramic in his house and he put all of this trash inside of the ceramic and he donated it together to the museum. So now we have the vehicle, the drone, the destination, the lower world, and then, uh, and then we got the knowledge. Oh, we're changing that so we can change our uh, consciousness. Okay, it looks really funny, I think, because, <laughs> because all that is so sexy, but when you're really practicing, you just think there. <laughs> yeah, the set and setting. Um, it has to be dark, the room has to be dark, and then, uh, but, you know, this afternoon, so we have the eye blind blocked, and then uh, the shaman practitioner will start to draw. And then, and then you have to uh, travel. And at the beginning, you have to use that so-called uh, the uh, yonk called it ima active imagination. So you need the entry. So the entry to the lower world, it has to be the place you've been to. It's either a tree, uh, tree hole or cave or lake or pond, anything. But you have to. Imagine yourself being there and then jump into there and then going down and down and down and down and then see what happened. And then we need the uh, sound now. How to uh, play the sound? Yeah, but I'm still talking now. 